Wendy Williams was a serious player in the 90s, allegedly dating everyone from Eric B. to Notorious B.I.G. But who else has this talk show host dated? And who's the mystery man she's seeing now? Let's peek inside Wendy Williams' relationship history. Wendy and Eric B. might have been a bit of a power couple in the 90s. Wendy Williams had a thing with the hip-hop star, whose real name is Louis Eric Barrier and is best known as one half of Eric B. and Rockem after she interviewed him in 1991. 2021's Wendy Williams the Movie saw Williams suggest they dated for a while before he ruined her credit after she rented him a car, as she claimed he didn't have his own vehicle. The movie even implied there was a warrant out for her arrest after he allegedly didn't return the vehicle. Eric B. hit back at Williams on Instagram Instagram, sharing a throwback snap of himself, writing, "...too hilarious, I laughed too well. It made for great TV, but the truth is something different." That wasn't the first time Williams spoke about their relationship, though, as she also dished in her 2004 book, Wendy's Got the Heat. "...Looking back, I was just one long, extended booty call for him. We didn't really have a relationship. It was all sex." In another throwback to the 1990s, Wendy Williams is thought to have had a fling with rapper Eric Sermon. Sermon opened up about their relationship in an interview with Vlad TV in February 2021, where he suggested Williams pursued him as a, quote, ploy to get famous. When asked if they were romantic, Sermon said, Nah, nah, it, it, it wasn't no romance now. She was just a happened to be a fan of mine." He was then asked about the speculation he hooked up with her and then presented her with, quote, "...bus tokens to get home." Though Sermon denied that and said she was instead dropped off at the train by a friend of his. He did suggest that the two of them did have an intimate moment at least once, however. All Hip Hop alleged in 2013 that Williams wasn't too happy about the way she was treated after their supposed hookup, and was accused of starting a rumor that Sermon was gay. Williams doesn't appear to have spoken out about the allegations. What really happened between Wendy Williams and Notorious B.I.G.? Rumors have swirled for years that Wendy Williams may have had a little something with the late rapper before his death in 1997, with her alleging that they went on at least one date around 1994. Williams opened up about her relationship with the iconic rapper in her 2021 Lifetime documentary, Wendy Williams' What a Mess, claiming they had a cool relationship while she was a radio DJ. I liked him. He had a great sense of humor and he liked to eat. One day, after we did an interview, Big asked me out. I said, yeah. I wasn't thinking about Big in a romantic way. I mean, he was a nice guy, but definitely not my type. But I was still very single and a young girl. But it sounds like Williams had one thing on her mind, and it wasn't marriage. I planned this scene. I said, let me get on page six. It's good for my business. Wendy, we're gonna find you a permanent spot here. Wait, what? <laughs> Welcome to Kiss FM. After a few brief romances, Wendy Williams got serious with her first husband, Burt Gerigori, in 1994, following her brief media firestorm with Notorious B.I.G. Williams dated Gerigori on and off for around two years before they walked down the aisle after meeting while working at a radio station. Not too much is known about their relationship, except for the fact it didn't last long. They went their separate ways just five months after they tied the knot. And Giragori later claimed they had a big blowout that strained their relationship. He told Radar in 2019, "...It was very bizarre. She just turned into a different person. I don't know what was going on. I didn't understand a lot of things that she did." Williams didn't share much about her first marriage and Wendy Williams the movie, instead admitting in the accompanying documentary, Wendy Williams What a Mess, "...It was a starter marriage, and frankly, it's not interesting enough to talk about." After divorcing her first husband, Williams didn't waste much time moving on. According to People, Williams and Kevin Hunter met at a skating rink event. The two dated for around three years before Hunter proposed to her in 1997. Williams recalled how her wedding day was a very low-key affair in her book Wendy's Got the Heat. "...Neither of us wanted a big wedding and a church and all of that. We didn't want to spend all of that money. We'd rather put our money towards something else, like another house." Instead, the loved-up couple kept things very very small and casual and went to the Justice of the Peace at the Jersey City Courthouse, before Hunter returned to work later that day. 
Though it seemed like Wendy Williams and Kevin Hunter had it all, that wasn't the case behind the scenes. After multiple miscarriages, Williams discovered she was pregnant with the couple's son, Kevin Hunter Jr., around two years into their marriage. But her pregnancy in 2000 was far from the happiest time in her life. Speaking to Insider in January 2021, Williams confessed that's when she knew she wasn't happy and made plans to leave her husband before giving birth. I went into the delivery room knowing in my mind I'm planning my divorce. He cheated when I dated him. He cheated when I married him. He cheated while I was on bed rest during the entire nine months of me being pregnant. However, the new parents ended up staying together, with Williams later telling Extra in January 2021, I found out about the cheating and I could have divorced him then, but I said, no, I have a son and I'm not going to have any more children. I didn't want him to leave me by myself. Williams filed for divorce in April 2019, citing irreconcilable differences. The filing came after Hunter allegedly conceived a child with his reported mistress, as Page Six claimed Hunter and his supposed longtime girlfriend had welcomed their first child together in March 2019. The outlet noted at the time that it hadn't been officially confirmed that Hunter, quote, is the father of the child, but there is widespread speculation. Williams then alluded to the child during a tell-all interview with the New York Times Times in August 2019, suggesting it was the last straw in the marriage. She also referenced it again while on The View that same year. The baby did it. A baby! Mm -hmm. I, I'm not changing pampers, I want to be pampered. By June 2019, two months after her divorce filing went public, Wendy Williams was linked to a new man, step forward Mark Tomlin. The two reportedly met through Williams' friend and reality star and model Black China. Williams and Tomlin were snapped on both sides of the country, enjoying the sun in Los Angeles before spending some time together in New York, according to Page Six. The relationship raised a few eyebrows not only because of their age gap — Williams was 54, Tomlin was 27 — but also because Tomlin's had a checkered past. TMZ questioned Williams about her new man's past, to which she hit back, "'I'm a 54-year-old grown woman. I know what I'm doing.'" The fun didn't last too long, though. The two had split by July 2019 when Williams claimed on The Wendy Williams Show she was seeing an unnamed doctor. She said of her breakup, "'Mama doesn't deal with children. I'm not on the market anymore. I'm not in love, but there's someone I'm crazy about. I need someone in his 50s, too, and he's got to work.'" Wendy Williams' romance with the mystery doctor didn't go the distance, as she revealed she was getting more serious about dating again in multiple interviews in early 2020. In February 2020, she was linked to musician Black Poppy and shared a photo of them on her Instagram account that appeared to suggest she and the rapper were an item. The caption read, "'Later on, studio with Black Poppy, another Friday night.'" The two never officially confirmed if they were dating, but if they were, it was all over by April 2020. Speaking to E.T., Williams revealed she was getting used to life as a single woman again, adding, "...I was involved with Kevin Hunter for over 25 years or so, and now I am a woman of a particular age and a particular stage in life, so being single now is a lot different." Despite staying relatively quiet about her ex-husband's alleged infidelity, Williams started to open up more about what really went down in their marriage in 2021, even calling it emotionally abusive in her Lifetime documentary, Wendy Williams' What a Mess. Kevin's not a woman beater. I was an emotionally abused woman, and I was taken advantage of horrifically. I was very naive and believing in love. He's just a weird man with a lot of issues that I'm glad I'm rid of. She also admitted she knew about Hunter's alleged mistress almost instantly, and recalled how she went over to the woman's home and used spray paint to vandalize it. As Wendy Williams navigated the dating scene, she admitted Kevin Hunter Sr. was still a part of her life as they co-parented their son, Kevin Hunter Jr., together. Speaking to Extra in January 2021, Williams explained that her former husband still calls from time to time and that she never blocked his number. Hunter Sr. was even by Williams' side as she and Hunter Jr. attended her mom's funeral. The star opened up about her reunion on The Wendy Williams Show that same month, saying that she and her ex-husband and son all went out for food together after the event. However, she was quick to clarify there were no reunions in the works, stating, "'No, we're not getting back together.'" The Wendy Williams show turned into the dating game in early 2021, when Wendy Williams used her platform to find herself a new man. For several episodes of the series, Williams opened up about her single life 
and encouraged men to send in videos telling her why they want to date her for a segment called Date Wendy. Williams then chose one of her suitors, Mike Esterman, and shared how excited she was to date him. We're both of a certain age and realistic about love or what will happen and the possibilities, but also we're both crafters. That might be corny to you, but not me. The two dated for a few weeks, with Williams keeping fans updated on her talk show. However, this one was almost over as quickly as it began. Esterman confessed in May 2021 that they weren't seeing each other, as their busy schedules didn't line up. He told the U.S. Sun in May 2021, "...I don't know if I can give her what she wants. Nobody called it a day. There's just no time to meet up. We talk when we can. I can't hold her back from meeting someone who can give her more. She's allowed to meet others. We're not in that type of relationship. She will find someone." Sound the new man klaxon. Wendy Williams didn't let her split from Mike Esterman get her down for long. In August 2021, Williams confirmed she was loved up again when she went public with her new boyfriend. Williams debuted her new man by posting a photo of them on Instagram as she told fans that they'd attended a party for her son, Kevin Hunter Jr., together. She wrote in the caption, "...my son's 21st birthday party on the yacht in Miami was everything he wanted, even my boyfriend." It seems like Williams is determined to keep this one a little more secret, though. The star doesn't appear to have publicly revealed the identity of her new man as of the making of this video, so it seems like she could be keeping her loyal fans guessing with this one. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.